Josh Brindle South. Uh, started off at North Pine, North Pine Sports Club out at uh, out at Dakabin there. So uh, my parents actually still live across the road. So um, yeah, I head out there all the time. Nice. Uh, how did you get into um, I think it, was, it started with my older brother. Um, he started uh, started playing. Uh, my dad got him into that, and then I just kind of jumped on the back of that and jumped down. How does that make your brother feel that you're a professional? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he still plays now, so he uh, he still he still loves playing. Um, but yeah, he's very supportive uh, as well as uh, the rest of my family too. Bit of family rivalry at Christmas. Always, always, especially growing up. But uh, I think that's kind of what what uh, it was built on the back of too. So. Uh, do you have a pre-match routine superstition before each game? Look, um, I am pretty superstitious. Um, I'll always have everything set times, uh, listen to the same music, um, pretty much eat the same things, um, to, down to putting my boots on at the, the exact, uh, exact foot, socks, everything like that. So, yeah, you could say I'm a little bit superstitious. What, what songs do you listen to? Yeah, part of your uh, look, I start off with a little bit of rap, um, and then I'll, I'll probably go into a bit of the harder stuff. I'll, I'll, to, be, to be honest, I like the Foo Fighters right before I kind of kind of get into the change room, so um, I'll probably end on that. Fires you up? Yeah. Nice. All right. What's your favorite To be honest, I, I like just uh, so I've got uh, a couple of dogs, um, so I like just going for going for walks, taking them for walks, uh, going for coffee. I'm um, just catching up with family and friends, so um, to be honest, I'm a very simple guy. Can tell us about your dog. Uh, I've got two, two miniature sausage dogs. Uh, one of them's uh, quite, quite young at the moment, so he's a bit of a, bit of a pain, but uh, biting everything around the house and that. But uh, the older one, she's, uh, I'm used to her now, so. So how's that going for you? Your boots and your socks and stuff? Uh, look, I keep them far away. Definitely keep them in the garage and the, the dogs inside. So uh, don't get them, don't let them get them mixed up. That's all. That's for sure. If there was a movie about your life, who would play you? Ooh. Look, I'm obviously going to have to choose someone with red hair. So. Obviously. Um, Sure, actually. Oh, <laughs> could be him. Could be. To be to be honest, I get so many so many people, different people thrown at me all the time, Ed Sheeran and stuff like that. Which, I, I could, it could it could could be him. So I'd go with him actually. Yeah. There you go. All right. Um, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Uh, I would go. Uh, probably teleportation. Go anywhere I want in the world, just like that. There's the Rupert Green coming in. Yeah. Harry Potter. Um, what's a catchphrase you're saying? Um, to be honest, it would probably be uh, never take criticism from anyone that you wouldn't take advice from. So, um, yeah. Um, if you're on a deserted island, who would you take and why? From the boys here? Yeah. Um, I would probably take Matty Steinman because he loves camping and he could probably fend for, uh, for us both at the same time. Right. Now I do want to ask, being a local boy, you know, growing up at, you know, going to home and, and Jack and, and that sort of thing, um, coming to games as a young boy and now stepping out, about to step out to something to study for the first time this season. Um, how's that make you feel, even like anticipation? Yeah, I think I was actually a foundation member here back in, I think it was 2005 with my, with my family. Um, so yeah, being up in the stands there and uh, watching every year and that, and then obviously now being, uh, being able to, to get out on the pitch here is um, going to be a huge moment for myself and, and my family. So it's um, just one of those things that's kind of, it's always been on my bucket list and I always wanted to get to that stage and now it's happening. I'll uh, um, yeah, be a very proud moment. What advice? I think just just never give up and always believe in yourself. Um, I think never giving up uh, is 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 a big part of why I'm here. Um, there's a lot of setbacks that that happen along the way, and um, just kind of persisting through them and that, um, and you'll you'll get your desired outcome. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. Enough.